Today I'm going to go through a list of the top five easiest African languages to learn and the most useful. It goes without saying that Africa is a massive continent with thousands of languages and dialects and a lot of people these days would like to learn an African language that's widely spoken and at the same time considered very easy to learn. I'll also put a link of free learning resources for each of these languages below. And one more thing, make sure to like, subscribe and turn on your bell notification for more. At number one we have Swahili. Swahili, also known as Kiswahili, is the native language of the Swahili people, an ethnic group who are found in Kenya, Tanzania and Mozambique. Swahili is part of the Bantu language family and due to hundreds of years of close contact with Arab slave traders from Oman, as well as people from India and Persia, it contains many loanwords from Arabic, Persian and Hindustani. Aside from that, Swahili is spoken by an estimated 200 million people within East Africa and the eastern part of Congo, with many of them being second language speakers. It's also taught in institutions worldwide. Additionally, the African Union and the Southern African Development Community also use Swahili as a working language. Number two is Hausa. The Hausa language is the native language of the Hausa people who are found in the northern part of Nigeria, Niger, Chad, Ghana, Togo and Benin. There are also smaller Hausa speaking communities in Mali, Ivory Coast, Guinea, Sierra Leone and Gambia. Now that's almost the whole of West Africa. It's estimated that Hausa has over 70 million speakers in total and Hausa is also significantly influenced by Arabic with many known words coming from the Arabic language. Hausa also has many dialects but the most widely spoken would be the Nigerian variety. And most Hausa language learning resources tend to teach the Nigerian Hausa. And number three you have Manding languages. Now Manding languages are a variety of very similar languages spoken across West Africa. The most widely spoken being Bambara, Jula and Maninka. Bambara is the official trade language of Mali as well as the national language. Jula is widely spoken in Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso. And Maninka is spoken in Guinea, Senegal, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea-Bissau and the Gambia. Now collectively these languages have millions of speakers and they are also very mutually intelligible meaning one speaker of a certain variety would be able to communicate with another speaker of a certain variety. So for instance, a Bambara person from Mali could easily communicate with a Maninka person from Guinea. So regardless of whichever variety you learn, communication shouldn't be too difficult if you ever cross paths with somebody who speaks a different language variety, such as the ones mentioned, so Njula, Maninka, at number four, you have the Wolof language, which is the native language of the Wolof people, an ethnic group found in Senegal, Gambia and Mauritania. Wolof is the most widely spoken language in Senegal, where it is spoken as a second language by people of various ethnic groups. It's also spoken in Gambia, especially in the capital Banjul and the largest city, Serakunda. Now, I personally have heard that Wolof is incredibly easy to learn and Wolof along with Swahili may actually be some of the easiest African languages to learn. At number five, you have Yoruba. Now, Yoruba is the native language of the Yoruba people, an ethnic group found in Nigeria, Benin, and Togo. And it's estimated that there are about 45 million Yoruba speakers worldwide and over 2 million second language users. I personally estimate that that figure could be higher. It's also spoken by immigrant communities in Cote d'Ivoire, Sierra Leone, Ghana, and the Gambia. Now, a lot of people may disagree with me when I say Yoruba is an easy language to learn. But of all the languages mentioned today, it's probably the only language that uses a similar or the same word order to English. Um, and a lot of people say that Yoruba is hard because it's a tonal language. And there is validity to that point, but you have tons of videos available on YouTube with people literally walking you through tones, you know, in the Yoruba language. And everything is just practice at the end of the day. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe and turn on your bell notifications for more.